Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Wartz. I'm from Montreal, Quebec. I study in ufology and astronomy. I'm experimenting with infrared cameras. Look at the plasma lifting up off the sun and that other spot on the very edge. So there's two more on the edge on the left. So look how different it looks today. This is very concerning. Two on the top right about to merge, waiting for them. Lines lining up, the magnetic fields are reaching each other. And when they cross paths, there's dangers for coronal mass ejection and often they mention about geomagnetic storms. Someone in the community told me, Bruce, February 2nd, there's danger for a coronal mass ejection and a geomagnetic storm to hit. Yes, absolutely. And look, you see the white plasma. It looks white here all around the spots. We see it lifting up off the sun on the occasion, very rare occasion, I can capture plasma leaving the sun, but not filming like this. I have to get off of the sun. You understand? You have to move the sun over to the left. Oh, guys, a spectacular view of the sun. Each independent light spot, sunspot, we can see it interacting and left is incredible. There's going to be another big spot there. And don't forget, there's two hiding off of the side that we can't see. There's spots on the other side of the sun that we can't see. Peter Benton got the sun before me. And anyways, those two spots, like I said, he sees them also. They're massive. And well, Peter sees it from a different view, which always trips me out. I'm sure it trips out Peter too, as we see that sun rotating. So the only way of seeing the sun's rotation is by analyzing these sunspots. For those just arriving to the channel, I do sun surveillance each and every day that I can, of course, considering the weather. Infrared every night that I can, every chance I get to film the moon. We've experienced, like a lot of other people in many countries right now, experiencing many days where there are a lot more clouds, etc. Well, we're not going to hide it. The climate change, that 1.1 degree change in the, the surface um, temperatures is definitely going to cause us and give us a hard time to see the sky. Bill Gates now confirming they're going to block out the rays. They've done their tests to block sunlight from reaching Earth. Now, I have a whole bunch of crazy theories along with that. It's scaring the hell out of me. Is it, I mean, that would make less clouds around Earth, no? When you think of it blocking out the sun rays? I know it, it's going to be something to see this year in 2022. Check it out, guys. I try to get this as clear as I can. And I told you the last video, there's several steps to be able to show it this way. And we're not only seeing the sunspots, we can see the plasma lifting up, which what is the dark spots now around it. And you literally see the solar flares moving around and the fires. And you can see that uh, this little way that we can see it this way, we can see that it is literally lifting up off of the sun. The plasma is lifting up off the sun. The large sunspot region AR2936, which quadrupled in size this past weekend, released an Earth-directed coronal mass ejection on January 30th, 2022. And like I told you, one to five days for it to arrive. It'll take a few days for the charged particles from the sun to travel to Earth, so we might expect a geomagnetic storm and the subsequent auroras begin as early as February 2nd. Where might you see auroras, you might ask? Well, Alaska, active auroras should be visible overhead at the beginning of February 2nd. Minneapolis, um, North America, Moscow, uh, uh, some places in Europe, uh, Nunavut, um, some places it will be uh, visible, the auroras. But let me tell you something, it's not a good sign. It's solar radiation. So if there's another massive solar um, coronal mass ejection in the same spot, 2936, then we'll see more radiation around Earth. That could be very, very dangerous. Beautiful, <laughs> but dangerous. And hey, Peter Benton, I was looking at those right there. Isn't that incredible? Imagine if that forms and connects one. It's always about imagine. Well, at one point, we're going to see some big stuff, bro. Guys, please take the time to check out Peter Benton's video. I share videos from people once in a while. I can't share everyone's, but Peter got the sun really nice. And uh, check it out, guys. Look at all those spots together. That happens, and the the fields align themselves. This is an, uh, an older sun, beginning of 2022. And look at it. There's the plasma lifting up off the surface. You can see it. Even though it's far away, it's not that hard to see. Go look at 
the coronal mass ejection that just the solar flare just exploded on the sun it's in the news you can see it and what you will see is the exact same thing here except a lot faster of course i slowed it down but not that much this object is coming off really slowly and you could see the explosion from february 2nd that Na uh, nasa or scientists have showed it's the same uh, shape and form that wave that comes out it really looks like star trek enterprise doesn't it so it's not for nothing that they're blocking off the sun bill gates says that he's going to now block off the sun could it be that they've been doing this for several years guys look at the planes they're deliberately hiding the sun it depends on the weather when you start analyzing them you really see what they're what they're up to and what they're doing so here it is a, a little bit faster this is real speed and you can see it maybe a bit slower than real speed I don't remember anymore. It's been so long now. This is 218. This is a while back, this massive CME. You don't get those every day. I was lucky as hell to be able to get one, of course, with the polarized lens. You sick of the sun, everyone? Let's head over to the moon. Lots of research I've done on the moon. Lots of documentation, lots of images. And I use, if you just arrived in this channel, I use a simple light color filters, but greens, blues. You'll see them throughout the entire uh, six years of work that I've posted here. It's always the same way that I'm doing the research. No manipulation. So bases on the surface of the moon. The sad part is that I'm showing you probably about seven or eight buildings right now, and people don't realize it. Dark structures, shadows you say? No, dark structures. Sure, they're shadows. You can see a bit in the bottom of the image here, but the other objects are real dark objects. They're connected together lines that are going um, to each of them connecting themselves together all these structures are under this haze and whether it's a natural atmosphere or a deliberate haze that's being caused by workers on the moon i'm not here to prove that i probably won't be able to but the visual proof that we have we can see a lot of disturbances on the surface of the moon with the atmosphere so those i believe are structures and here's the thing structures can be objects that are reflecting lasers back to earth they can be buildings they can be just covers hiding what's underneath or a type of satellite a communication device we have no idea i'm not confirming what these objects are but i do believe they are constructed though without a doubt that's 100 percent confirmed for me here you can see lights on the top right and all these connections with those are all the filters that i use always the same filtering that I use. Negative image converted, quite simply, and we do see the connections. The problem is the connections have the same reflectivity as the surface, hard to distinguish. Look at this object going by. Not much you're gonna say. Could be debris, absolutely. That's why we analyze the characteristics of all UFOs that we get, but I'm not gonna hide. Um, every capture that we see on the moon is always an amazing one. Nobody knows what's out there. In reality and nobody has well should i say everyone knows but there's no confirmation look at the ufo on the bottom moving by it's elongated it's long is this a dust lifting up off of the surface from an object on the surface it's in the hazes when i started mentioning that people were like bruce are you serious do you think this object could be on the surface i don't think it i'm just saying imagine if it was it'd be pretty incredible visually we're looking at an object going by, which seems to be pressed up close to the surface, but it could be thousands of kilometers or miles up in the air there. I'm not gonna deny it. One of my favorites, a large massive object. It looks like a bell lying sideways. A tunnel, Copernicus is right there on the top. We have lights in the middle on the bottom, bright and dark spots appearing at the end of lines. It's all meant to deceive you, my friends. People think of it they're not hiding they're literally not hiding the surface it's that the surface is misunderstood and of course every structure on the moon has the same reflectivity as the surrounding areas around it there's this blinding white light everywhere there what do you think's on the surface there it's not white imagine i added these names to the videos and that does not count all the live stream contributions and all the help that you guys give me on every platform Thank you so very much. Anonymous contributions. Regis Weishweg, I love you, bro. Mark, love you guys. Muhibauer, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. 
generous contribution. Thank you very much. Leon Sykes, or I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and I appreciate it. Romain Clavaron, Christy Lindsay, Dan Hooks, C. Crawface, and everyone. Thank you so much. Doesn't matter cause disclosure's coming soon.